were around for the other previous uh, pizza we made. I'm really glad I have leftovers, more chives, that I'll have to go back outside to collect them and get some more pickles, more carrot, and more sweet potato. Oh, I just remembered I was going to show you the carrots chopped up. Oh, and the pickles need to be chopped up more too. One of the reasons for chopping up the carrots so small and the pickles so small is the carrots, we want them small so that they and they're smaller than this because they don't cook very fast and unless you're okay with a little bit of crunch, which I am, that's the reason why I have them in there, um, you want to make them small so they cook a little bit better. And also the pickles, you want them small so that maybe you can actually sneak them into somebody's and then they go, what is that weird, strange zest? And they keep trying to take another bite trying to figure out what it is. If it's too big, then they go, eh, yuck, and they pick it out. So just thoughts about that. Realized I should have probably showed it to you before I started covering it. It looks all orange now, but it was actually there's meat underneath all that. And I added some, again, some sweet potato, cooked sweet potato. This was the leftover dinner we had the other day. And I added some of the meat crumbled up. If you can't eat meat, uh, there's turkey substitute, or there's um, uh, tofu substitutes, which you could add. But uh, if you also don't want to eat any, uh, what is it, soy, then you could add uh, chia seeds, and that adds some protein, or other kinds of seeds also add some protein. Chia seeds, flax seeds, uh, sesame seeds, and that sesame seeds would change the flavor of this a lot though. But the chia seeds wouldn't. Chia seeds are something that you can... The idea is that you add some protein, you add some vegetables, you add... I normally I add fruit, but I don't add... I'm not adding fruit to this. But I am adding a lot of vitamin A because my son has a fever and I want to help him get well. So I'm giving him echinacea tea, I'm giving him sweet potato carrots, and a lot of turmeric. And he said last time he didn't taste the turmeric, so we are just layering. I'm just, I'm having trouble getting the turmeric out of this thing. But I am just, we're going to really, turmeric is a really strong flavor. So it is surprising that we did not taste that turmeric before. So we're going to kind of overdo it this time and see if he uh, tastes it because turmeric is really great. It's great for cancer supposedly. I don't know. So I read on the internet. And also anything that I'm saying, please don't take my word for it. Go check it up on the internet. You do your own research. I am not responsible for any problems that occur to you. You go check it out yourself. All right. I totally forgot. Cheese. Now, if you don't eat cheese, well, I guess why would you be watching a pizza video then? Um, substitutes are existing out there. I don't know about them, but if you like them, go for it. If you don't want pizza without cheese, do a pizza without cheese then. All right. Top is going on. Heat is on. We'll check back in in 15 minutes. All right. I decided to come and check on dinner. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a light to show you, but... Um, I think I've decided that I should have put the turmeric down at the bottom and all the food on top because the powdered form of it on top, it just didn't go so hot. That wasn't, yeah, not, eh, yeah, mm. ah, I just had another idea. I should have put some onions in it. No, that's right. The onions wouldn't have cooked long enough. If I had cooked onions, that would have worked. Okay. Maybe closer up you can see now, I moved it, how the turmeric powder just doesn't look that as appetizing. So yeah, so in the future, I think I will put that down before I add some of the toppings. That way I can get that turmeric in there to him and not have it be so in our face about it. Mm. Now the carrot's crunchy. All right, read, watch the last video. The last video, I don't know how I did it a little bit different. I guess a little bit less turmeric. Turned out great. Okay, I tried it. You know what? It actually still turned out delicious, absolutely and stunningly delicious. That turmeric really did add something, the pickles do add something, but uh, it doesn't look very appealing to the eye, so that's why I would definitely suggest putting the turmeric powder on the bottom layer so you can't see it. But it does, mm, I liked it. Yes, it did turn out quite well. So may you enjoy experimenting. Learn from our experiments, learn from our mistakes, having fun cooking, and please, we really need your help, because 
Yes, we really need your help. So, please join us on Patreon, even if it's just a dollar. Please help us out to accomplish our dreams of being able to produce stuff like this. Produce experiments, to create videos, to design, to let my son design. He's a great designer and just big hug. No, I, I don't even, right now, I'm nervous. I'm scared about our future and I just really want some help of knowing that I can accomplish these dreams. The business, I have the business ideas. I just need some monetary help with it of the business expenses because believe it or not, even doing a business online, there are certain fees, there's website fees, there are uh, getting the business license, there is getting advertising. Advertising is a lot of money. <laughs> okay, well, we appreciate you joining us for dinner and we appreciate you just coming and being a part of our lives. And I'd like to believe that we are there with you wherever you are and you are here with us wherever we are. So we are together and hopefully together we will accomplish helping the rest of the world with peacefulness and compassion and listening and just accepting and caring about each other and loving each other and sending goodness whenever we see somebody hurting, whenever somebody has hurt us, let us forgive them, let us um, maybe not forgive them necessarily because some of the things they do really makes us angry, but let us have compassion for whatever it is that led them to hurt us and let us also uh, recognize that they were just trying to get their needs met. I'm trying to talk myself into this, by the way, because <laughs> it really does hurt that uh, his father left us and um, having not given us a chance to get ready to be able to do this on our own. But we're trying and we're going forward with our dreams and inch by inch and we're hoping that you'll help us get there inch by inch. Thank you. Oh, and I just remembered what I wanted to say. Um, if somebody has hurt you badly, please, whether they cheated on you, whether they lied to you, whether they physically, whatever it is that they did that trespassed on your boundaries that hurt you, um, and I know I'm just trying to tell myself this about other people who've hurt us, but I like to focus on compassion. I'd like to focus on understanding and empathy for whatever it is that they went through, even if it turns out they happen to be psychopaths or whatever happened to be going on in their brain. I don't want anybody judging anybody else for whatever is on their brain, whatever illness they have. If you consider brain quirks and illness, I would rather you read that article on uh, how some shamanic sh shaman, I think, shaman people, how they think of the uh, different illnesses as ways of communicating with um, something, I guess the other world, I'm not sure. But the idea of there's more to it and to accept people the way they are and if you can't accept them, at least give them a way to make amends. That's, I think, that's what I want. I want, when you make mistakes, like, you know, we made a mistake here on this pizza. We put the turmeric on top, but we learn from it. We learn that next time we're going to put the turmeric on the bottom. I'll probably forget, but maybe at some point I'll remember. But the idea is to make amends. Even if something as simple as making a mistake here. In life, people make mistakes. People do things. They make choices that are just awful sometimes and hurt other people around you sometimes. And I know this came originally, this started off as cooking experiment, strange, but I really want to reach out to your heart of how important it is and reach to my own heart of how important it is to give a person a way to make amends. Now, the ideas that we have for Eagle's father of how he could make amends are probably way more than he could ever do. But there is that wonderful feeling of knowing that if he ever did want to come back home, if he ever did want to accept us for who we were, that 
there is a way back into our hearts. And it angers me so much when I meet people who say they divorced so-and-so because they did something or another. And I go, well, what can they do to make up for it? And they say, oh, nothing. And it just really angers me because that was what something that my husband did, or ex-husband now, is that I had a quirk. I like to video things. I like to... I have a little bit of OCD where I like to pick up fun little neat pretty objects like leaves that look pretty and I bring them home and I put them in my compost pile. But those little oddities were too much for him and he, whatever it was, oh right, that I'm also a pack rat. But I'm an organized pack rat if I give the chance. The point is that each of the things, whatever it was that he panicked and left, what really hurt us the most was him saying, there's no second chance. We can't change. We can't make it better. We can't be the people he wanted us to be. And true, why would you ever want to accept someone who doesn't accept you the way you are? But normally he did, and he was a wonderful man, and we really miss his caring, and we miss his love, and we know that he was just panicked, and he was just scared by life. He was scared by his job, losing his job, and everything that was going on at his job. And he panicked, and he ran. And we understand that. And people sometimes do that. And whatever it was that he had a problem with us, and there are other things too that he didn't like, but you know, the, the point is, is that your spouse is going to do something. Maybe they're going to cheat on you. Uh, the last one I heard was somebody uh, where the wife cheated on him one time and he could not forgive her, and the trust was broken. And believe me, I understand what it's like when the trust is broken. I have had my heart broken, trust broken, even by my own son. You know, I thought I could trust him in something, and then he went and played a video game, and I was like, do I ever trust him again? But the thing is, trust can be... Oh, he played it when he wasn't supposed to, by the way. But we learn from it. Just like now, we learned about the turmeric on the pizza. You learn from your mis... Somebody caught a wonderful way of putting it the other day. Instead of a mistake, you think of it as a must-stake. Because you must go through the experience in order to learn from it. That lady who ever cheated on her husband, or the guy who cheated on his wife, he was just trying to get his needs met. Not that I necessarily would have forgiven it very easily myself, but the whole idea is that there are ways to make amends. There are ways to make up. Maybe the other person was not able to do all those things, that you need for them to do in order to make up for it, but at least you gave them a route. At least you said, if you do X, Y, and Z, then I will consider opening my heart up to you again and relearning and relearning and relearning. Obviously, the other day I heard a story about an alcoholic where her husband was an alcoholic and he kept going back into it, and it's hard. It's hard because he would get better, and then he would fall, and he'd get better, and then he'd fall, and he'd get better, and then he'd fall. But something I pointed out to her is that each time he fell, he got a little bit better the next time around. And so he went a little bit longer before he fell again. And maybe that's not the case for you. Sometimes an alcoholic has to just completely fall, and they have to go hit bottom before they can stop. Everybody's different. Every situation's different. But... Instead of just sticking people in jail and having them forever, maybe some cases it is important to put people in jail just to protect because they cannot, uh, what's the word, redeem, no, um, rehabilitate, but to give them a chance to give, to give them a chance to, maybe they can't be put into society, but maybe within the jail themselves they can become better people. Allowing people to become better people for you to still be open, having your heart open to the love that they once had for you, you once had for them. Even if they need to be put into a secure environment that they can't harm you, the idea is to give your heart away, to let them in. Even if they don't take it, giving your heart away to them. It does you good, it does your family good, it does your children good. Give people a chance to learn from their mistakes. You put turmeric on top, you learn to put it on the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm going on a ranting, raving... Arr! It's just something I feel very strongly about today.
just very frustrated with people not not necessarily not forgiving or not accepting but not giving people a way to learn that's how we teach is we give people a way to learn maybe they will never learn but giving them a way to learn so make experiments try interesting recipes try interesting concoctions Sometimes the pizza turns out inedible and you have to throw it in the compost or in the trash. I hope you put it in the compost. Sometimes you give it to the dog if you have a dog. Sometimes you just add more ingredients because you're starving and you don't have any money and you don't have anything else to eat. But you learn and you let people learn and you let those who make mistakes give them a way to learn. I hope this... I hope you heard what I have to say. I hope it I hope it does something for you. Even if you hate what I just said, even if you want to argue with what I just said, even if you want to just think I am nuts for thinking that what I just said. Soak on it. Think on it. Be a seed in your mind. Ponder upon the idea of treating others the way you want to be treated and you want to be able to have the chance to learn when you make mistakes. You want the chance to be able to improve things, so give that to other people. Please. All right. Do a body check-in awareness. How's your back alignment? You know what? I'm going to put this up here. You can't really see it. It's words. It's feeling words. Go to cnbc.org. Actually, first go to Patreon page and help us recover from our own problems that we've occurred and encourage us encouragement by sending us a dollar or just open your mind and do a body stretch. Stand up tall, take your breath, take a deep breath in, belly breath, tuck into your stomach, tuck into your lungs. Belly breath, breath, breathing. What can you hear in the room? Where are you in the room? Outside, wherever you are, check in. And after you turn this off, take a moment to close your eyes and just to be aware of your body, please. Thank you. I'm gonna send you a big hug wherever you are. Thank you for existing. Thank you for thinking about compassion.